YouTube, Air of Carthage here, what's going on? Um, hey, I want to show you the, the new meta for quick battle real quick. So pick whatever lord you want, and then come down and find where your faction has missile cavalry and chariots. Um, or, or sorry, just missile cavalry. If your faction doesn't have missile cavalry, then change it. And uh, what you want to do is bring a minimum of four. You're better off with six, you know, ten, twenty, whatever you can. Okay, no, I'm all right. I'm trolling just a little bit. I'm trolling. Um, seriously though, uh, quick battle recently. I played I think four or five battles tonight, and three of the four, or three of the four or five. I can't remember. I know there was at least three involved four missile cavalry or more. Apparently, this is the thing now. Um, in quick battles, bring a crap load of missile cavalry. This isn't the first night that's happened to me either. All right, a lot of missile cavalry. Air, you have missile cavalry. Yes, I do. Um, and you can see my army there, which, by the way, I'm going to pause it real quick because this battle starts very quickly and it fights very furious. So, and uh, I've got Karl Franz, two outriders. Yes, I have missile cav because I've been tired of my opponents having the full run of the battlefield with missile cavalry. Um, I haven't brought any foot skirmishers because I was worried that my opponent might bring a whole bunch of warhounds and cavalry, and he did, and so this makes me happy that I didn't bring foot skirmishers to protect. I have four great swords because they're going to do the best against chaos infantry that I can. Three spears just for extra numbers. Two demigriff knights with halberds to deal with potential large units like Kolek, like chaos knights, like Sartharel. Speaking of Sartharel the ever chicken, here he is. He's leading his chaos army where he's got four warriors and kind of a back line. Uh, two marauders and a front line, and then three stinking marauder horse masters and two marauder horsemen. And he's got a chaos knight with lances and a chaos knight. And let's let this battle unfold, folks. So yeah, all this missile cavalry. You might want to come prepared if you're coming to quick battle because uh, weird builds, uh, missile cavalry. So like, for instance, every time I play the Vampire Coast, I get a different all-in strange build. Like, it's either like an all Morn Ghoul rush or an all Cyrene army, or the next time it's just like tons of guns and three Necrofex. It's like whatever the player picks, they go all in on something, and your only real way to counter it is just hope the one that you picked counters what they're trying to do to you. Um, so it's very, very uh, interesting situation online because uh, it's just kind of luck of the draw with what you pick. Did you pick the right thing that's going to help you against your opponent's most likely nutty pick? And so, yeah, that's just how it rolls. Anyway, um, so here we are. I'm going to try and use Karl Franz to shield off. Uh, this probably makes him feel good because he's like, oh, yeah, sweet, I can javelin Franz with all this stuff. You can, but I can heal him, and I'm willing to take that risk because Sartharel is a wiener, and I'm okay with Franz losing a bunch of hit points because this isn't Kolek or something. Uh, I mean, Sartharel does have final transmutation, and I saw it, so I'm expecting to get hit with an overcast final transmutation. So, wasn't thrilled about having to use my healing, but this does allow me to at least deal some damage and shut up these missile cavalry long enough for me to try and get the fight started. My opponent's going to go full caviolo here. All of his missile cavalry, both of his melee cavalry, he's going to interrupt the charge of my infantry. This is a very sane move here because his infantry is terribly slow doesn't have particularly good charge bonuses and no armor piercing so he needs to give himself every advantage I'm gonna land Karl Franz here and use the Reichland Rune Fang which is gonna basically give my guys an Empire Wah here with extra leadership and attack and I'm gonna use Karl here and as soon as Sartharel gets close enough I'm gonna use the mass that Karl Franz has to pull over and fight him and when I do I want to use Galmraz because that gives me a 16 bonus versus large and like an extra 40% armor piercing which is Karl Franz's way of being good at deleting enemy large lords as quickly as possible. So there comes Sartharel. I'm going to immediately come engage him. Karl Franz should deal massive damage to him pretty quickly. And you can see there's the, the Rune Fang. But I also get hit by Final Transmutation, which means I'm going to have to use my Wizard and immediately come back over here and heal Franz. But again, you can see how quickly he tears a hole uh, through Sartharel. Yeah, and Franz gets pretty low here. And since I had already had to tank all that other damage, I was lucky to have as much healing left as I did. But um, I think my opponent's a little bit crazy to leave Sartharel up in a fight that close. And sure enough, he pulls him out. But there's a hole in the lines, and my Demigriff Knights are able to get over here and start chasing Sartharel. And um, also, 
look at this over here. My Outriders, able to, like, I'm just like, alright, I'll sit here and shoot it out with you. My opponent really needs to charge me in melee with all of his missile cavalry because he can easily overwhelm my guys. So I'm happy to sit here and shoot it out momentarily and kill as many of his horsemen. And then he realizes the mistake. He's going to go for it. The Ever Chicken. Franz gets completely healed and he gets uh, catches the Ever Chicken. The Chaos Cavalry here did not get a particularly good charge. And they are going to eat it because both of my Demigriff Knight units are tearing through them. The Great Swords have won one of their fights. I'm about to reassign these guys into another. I just was busy microing the other fight at the moment. You can see that again, he's going to run off, so I'm going to micro Carl out of the fight, swing around. That chicken's not going to get away. We're not letting him get away at this point. I have the mobility, I have the ability to pin him down, and I just totally mismicroed these, so what a play by me there. <laughs> I was too busy with my Demigriff Knights. I had to ensure that Sartharel died, and I just hadn't noticed the infantry fight. I'm not real worried about the infantry fight. If I can keep Carl alive, and I can kill the chicken, and then just stay away from the Horse Masters, Chaos is going to lose on leadership alone. They just won't have the leadership to carry the fight. See, their leadership's already not so great. Chicken's dead, and that's going to hit their leadership even harder. Now all I have to do is just fly out of range of the Horse Masters, so are they effective in numbers like this? Yes, but I can get out of range of them pretty quickly. Terror Dive Bomb. Again, now my opponent just does not have enough javelins left to secure victory. I'm using my Jade Wizard to chase off some of his knights so they don't come back onto the battlefield. Because right at this moment, I don't need any healing. And there you go. Leadership collapse. So, his javelins definitely caused a lot of damage. Early in that fight, the reason why I went out and sacrificed Karl Franz with all that damage was twofold. I saw Sartharel and knew that he was no melee threat to Karl Franz. Just isn't. Does he have final transmutation? Yes. But otherwise, I mean, he's he, he's like tickling Carl with his melee attacks. It's just not going to work. Um, so I felt confident enough to go ahead and engage Carl with those javelins, then use the healing, because keeping those javelins from decimating my unshielded lines, because none of my infantry had shields, would have been very bad for me if he would have just been able to park there in front of my lines and unload javelins on my infantry because then I couldn't have held the infantry fight like I did. My second objective was to support the infantry fight at one point with Karl Franz using um, the Reichland Rune Fang. That's what it's for. It's how you get the best use out of it. And so I was able to do that in the center. And you, as you saw, even though I failed the micro them afterwards, my guys won the center which turned out good for me. Uh, and then I was able to use uh, the Galmaraz ability to help kill Sartharil faster. Jade Wizard, after he does a lot of his magic, and I don't need the healing, gets to chase units off. So ended up working out pretty good for me. The Demigriff Knights, again, you know, paid themselves out by getting rid of the, the heavy Chaos Cavalry that would have otherwise been able to keep Sartharil protected by pinning down Karl Franz with all their mass. So fortunately the infantry line came out superior for me here. My opponent had had to spend all of his cash on his Lord and his cavalry, which left him with just Chaos Warriors. Now again, had I gone State Troops, Chaos Warriors are a very good counter to State Troops. They are heavily shielded, heavily armored. They have good melee defense. They counter State Troops pretty nicely. And as you can see, they weren't slouches in this fight either. They just don't have the armor piercing to really beat down the great swords very well. Um, but I liked the YOLO charge for my opponent. Remember, you're going to have all this cavalry. It was a good use to stop the charge of all my infantry and disrupt it so he could bring his own slower, low charge. And none of my infantry is particularly high charge, but chaos infantry in general is slow and low charge bonus. So disrupting your opponent's charge can be quite useful. And Sartharel excels at that. Having a big line of cavalry excels at that. Um, so... Good game to my opponent. Um, I can't say that I'm thoroughly enjoying all of these heavy missile cavalry builds, but hey, more power to people, I guess. Whatever they want to play, I'll just have to figure out the right ways to, to play around it. But hope you all enjoyed it. We got us some fried ever chicken. Boy, was it finger licking good. <laughs> if you all want to see more, if you want to come back for more extremely lame jokes like that, then hit the subscribe button, click the bell, so you'll be notified about the latest video. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It'll help other people find it. If you dislike the video, then hit me with that final transmutation. 
like Sartorell, and I guess turn me into metal or whatever it is that Final Transmutation does. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I will see you next time.